Okay, here's an example of what messing with the bars could look like on the Dell Optiplex 7010. So if we go into Read Write Everything, you could do this from Chipsec too, but I'm just doing it from Read Write Everything. You go in, you look at bus zero device zero function zero, and you go to offset 10, and it doesn't look like there's any bars there. Nothing's filled in. So you move down to the VGA controller, and here we do some, see something at offset 10, and we see something also at offset 18. So there's this kind of gap between them. So if we parsed this bottom bits of this, we would go back to this and we'd say, if the least significant nibble is four, then that would be zero, one, zero, zero. And so one zero here, which is that thing where it says it can be located in the 64-bit address space. So it's basically, this is a 64-bit bar. Of course, the upper bits are all just zero. So it's still in the 32-bit address space, but they're saying, you know, this is a 64-bit bar. So 64-bit bar there, 64-bit bar here, because 1100 is C, and that still has the 64-bit designator. And then, interestingly, down here, we have what looks like a port I.O. bar, because the least significant bit is 1, and when the least significant bit is 1, that indicates it's an I.O. space. So basically just the bottom two bits are unused, but otherwise this is saying, you know, this is in the port I.O. range at F000. Well, I don't want to mess up my video, so previously I had said if you're RDP'd in, as I am currently on this system, you could mess with your USB safely and then just, you know, restart the system. But as I was digging around here, I noticed that the serial device actually is a two-for-one in that it has a bar in the I.O. address space, least significant bit is one, and it has a bar in the memory space, least significant bit is zero, and also it's not four, so it's zero, zero for the saying it's a 32-bit address space thing. So let's go ahead and mess with these bars. So I said grab the existing value out of there. And so that is F0E1. Then I'm going to edit it. Oops, I want to right-click and edit it. I know there's a way to like just edit it directly, but I think it has something to do with RDP and the fact that I'm on Mac. Uh, it's not just doing the nice easy editing, so instead I'm going to do it the hard way. You right click and you hit edit. And I'm going to put in all F's for this. I'm going to hit done. Read write everything is going to read back the value and then it sees that it's set to 000 FFF9. Now, theoretically, you would, you know, just invert that and stuff, but because the IO address space is only, you know, 65,000, so it can only be, you know, 0 to FFFF, so we're only going to care about these bottom. Uh, for nibbles. So what is that? So we got back one, two, three F's and a nine. What is nine in binary? It is one, zero, zero, one. So if we invert all of these, we would get, you know, zero, one, one, zero, which is six. And the most significant, these F's turn into zero. So one, two, three. So zero, zero, six. That's the two's complement of F, sorry, that's the one's complement of FFF9. And to get the two's complement, we add one, so seven. This is telling us that this is an IO address range and it has a size of seven. All right, let's look at the next one. Grab the value, F7C3A123. Let's write all ones into there, like so. Do F, 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 hit done. It writes it in and read write everything, reads it right back to refresh this. He's got the refreshing going on. And so it says basically five Fs and three zeros. So the two's complement of that is easy. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Two's complement of that would be five zeros and three Fs, which when you add one to that, you get hex 1000. So this is basically telling us this is a memory bar and the size is hex 1000. So that's the basics. You know, I said to put the values back in and maybe things would start working. You know, they hadn't in my experience, but maybe they would. So you can go ahead and put the, you know, original values back in. But at this point, if there were any drivers behind the scenes, the fact that uh, drivers accessing it behind the scenes, the fact that we are, you know, in human level of timing, uh, just completely smashing these base addresses and breaking the decoding means that the drivers would almost certainly have broken by now.